But oh. did you know it would, when it, when you looked at it, when you'd written it, did you know I have written something really important, beautiful? That's such a lovely question because all I wanted this book to do was to be important to um, and meaningful to my children and to my ex-husband who I let down so massively by leaving them and it, and also my best friend's parents um, and another good friend, my friend Lizzie, who died um, and I, I became kind of, in all those deaths, I became a bit of the grief thief. I'm like, I'm the saddest, I'm the most screwed up, I'm the most messed up. And I realized how selfish and awful that was. And that if I could somehow redeem that by writing a book that was a kind of belated and long and hopefully literary apology to them, that um, it would somehow be a, a redemption to them. That was the most important thing to make it all right for those people. And happily that did happen. And that, and then anything on top of that was icing on the cake. And this is an overload of icing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a sugar rush. <laughs> <laughs> Your teeth are going to fall out, Michelle. <laughs> I know, it's very funny. Actually, um, in my job, I'm a cook and I'm, I'm gonna go on shift in a couple of hours and I'm, I'm all, you know, usually I go into work and I'm, you know, I'm a bit, you know. Um, oh, but you so deserve it. And I feel we were very privileged to read something so purely honest. And you're still very honest. Um, it, it's a rare thing not to make excuses, not to, I don't think it's wrong for people to make excuses because there are always reasons why we fall down and many of us do. And, pick up again but I it was the brilliant honesty but also the shaping of your narrative into something so luminous I don't think as I said I've read many books in my life where I can say it's a life-changing book and to all writers I say if you want to write read this book Thank you, thank you so much. It's, I mean, such a, it's such an enormous deal to me. Um, and I must, I have to say, and I hope this doesn't sound really cornball, but it was, it was also with the wisdom and the help of um, my publisher, Short Books, and particularly Aurea Carpenter, who's an editing publisher, and she helped guide me into the structure. I, she, she saw the bare bones, and she helped me work, work it and rewrite it. And um, craft it into and craft it into something that we were both really yeah. happy with. I'm sure they're going to be very, very delighted too. Are you going to write another book? Yes, I am. Thank you very much for asking. Um, I'm working on that at the moment. I'm, I'm delving into fiction. Somebody said, "Welcome to the dark side." When I said that, <laughs> um, I'm, because I'm I grew up in the '70s and. Um, halfway between Liverpool and New York, not in the ocean, you know, in New York sometime, in Liverpool some of the time. And New York in the 70s is such rich pickings for the background to a book. We had Son of Sam, we had um, The Blackout, we had uh, fires and, you know, the president telling us to drop dead. You know, it was it was such a rich time. And I thought, there's, there's such a lovely scene. Now, I know, now all I need is a story. <laughs> you find the story. Michelle, it was a joy and I thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. You've made me very happy and I'm so delighted. Take care.